Hey guys, this is Steve here with another review on a puzzle app for your iPhone, iPad, or Android. Personally, I played on my iPad as I feel it's a bigger screen. The phone, in my opinion, would be too small of a screen to do the puzzle. Uh, but I know people that do it. Uh, you could just zoom in and you know move move your fingers around to move the puzzle grid around. But I think it's a little cumbersome. The iPad much simpler. It's a free app to download. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll solve an example puzzle for you guys. So a link of picks, basically you're linking paired numbers together. Um, you know, a two goes with a two, five goes with a five. A one uh, is all by itself because the clues indicate how many cells are to be shaded along the path. So if you have a 10 clue, it links with another 10 clue and shades 10 cells. If you have a five clue, it links with another five clue, shading in five cells in between. And the clue itself counts as one of the cells. So if we look at this seven here, it's exactly seven cells to go down to the other seven. And so you can link those numbers up, link the eight with the other eight, and there's eight cells shaded. Um, the lines must not intersect with one another, and the lines move one cell at a time orthogonally, so you can't move diagonally. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is finish this puzzle for you guys so you can see how it unravels and share some common tips or tricks uh, that will make it easier for you to solve them yourselves in the future. Now this is the easy puzzle, so it might not be the best example, but you'll at least kind of get a feel for it, how it works. So the first thing I do is I go after all the ones and twos. Those are going to be the easiest ones uh, to solve because they're small numbers. After I do the ones and the twos, then I look for the threes, the fours, and, and so forth, or any numbers that are really constrained. Um, so we can see, I think that's it for the ones and twos. If we look at the threes, the, some of them are exactly three cells apart, and so that's gonna be real easy. And when you look at a, a clustered area, you can't isolate any of the numbers. So this area here there's four threes you wouldn't be able to say connect this three to that three because then you've isolated these two because how are you going to connect this one to another three the three below it is too far away um, and this three would not have any other partner to connect with so it's real easy to see that this three must connect with that three this three connects with that three and you could do that same trick here as well uh, you know that these uh, must connect, that must connect, uh, those connect. Uh, and again, the harder puzzles won't make it this easy for you, uh, but I just wanted to show you an example of how it works. In the really hard puzzles, you're going to see a lot more uh, bigger numbers, 10s, 14s, 15s, even 20s, because there's going to be more eligible pathways. Um, and typically when you're doing it, you kind of, as you do them more and more, you'll get an intuition, but the one uh, intuition to go with is hug edges or, or take the most efficient route that leaves enough room for other paired numbers. And so what I mean by that is if you have this seven here, don't just connect it uh, you know, straight like this because you're not going to leave enough room for these fours. Right, if we if we uh, somehow connect it like this, that doesn't leave room for these fours. So always consider, you know, taking, you know, say if, if these were smaller numbers, you could kind of go this way and hug an edge and connect and leave room. Uh, but in this instance, I think we're gonna do it like that, and that leaves room for the fours to connect. Same thing with this eight. You can't come up here because you're going to block these sixes. And so you always have to leave room uh, for the other numbers to connect. Uh, and so this seven, I think, comes around like that. These four connect. And so I'll just quickly finish this puzzle off uh, so you can see how it's, oops, how it's solved. And as you do them time and time and again, you'll see that there's some patterns you'll recognize. Um, but that's it. So apparently that looks like a unicorn. Um, you can kind of see the picture, I guess. Again, the harder ones are much bigger, much more detailed, a lot more fun, a lot more time consuming as well. Um, I would say you could probably expect 
10 to 20 minutes uh, on these puzzles, if not more. I know some of the giant ones, I've, uh, it's taken me close to an hour on some of them. So, But I definitely enjoy the puzzle. It's not my favorite from Conceptus, but it's definitely up there. I enjoy it. I think you will too. Give it a shot and give it a thumbs up uh, to this video if you liked it and subscribe for more uh, like this in the future. Thanks everyone. Have a good night.